young women be walking along the street in the late afternoon and then simply disappear. There will have been people around, someone must have seen them, yet they just seem to have vanished into thin air. These are the last pictures of Elizabeth Chow, seen on CCTV in Ealing in West London in April last year. Liz, as she was known, was Vietnamese, 19 years old, and on her way home from Thames Valley University, where she was studying. Lola Shenkoya was last seen walking towards the tube station, also in Ealing, in January this year. She was 27. Now, Can you help please find Ivona Kaminska? She's 20 and she's from Poland. She arrived in London on July the 9th last year with a six-month visa for an extended holiday, except she went missing four days later. This is the uh, NatWest Bank, outside of the NatWest Bank in King Street, Hammersmith. Right. Uh, her usual route would be to leave the glass shop, yeah. uh, which is in King Street, towards the Ravens Court uh, tube station, and she'd work, walk uh, from that location down towards Hammersmith Broadway. So my assumption in making this video is everyone has seen part one. So if you haven't seen part one, go back and watch part one. So when I was researching this case to do a part two, I was going to do a segment on Andreas Kanowski and I was going to do a segment on Levi Belfield for obvious reasons. Now I personally didn't think Levi Belfield would have anything to do with this case because I think it was too far in into West London and he seemed to be um, offending around his local area but in researching this case I found out Levi Belfield had a flat in Hanwell so if you look at the map on the left hand side there's two yellow pins now this is where Levi Belfield lived in 2002 but before that he lived in Hanwell and Hanwell is basically on the scene. Now I don't know when Levi Belfield lived in Hanwell but at some time before 2002 he did and in researching this case even further Levi Belfield has confessed to the murder of Elizabeth Chow. Serial killer Levi Belfield to be quizzed over the 1999 disappearance of Ealing student. Police are set to question convicted killer of Millie Dowler after he said to have signed a document confessing to the abduction and possible murder of 24 year old Vietnamese student named Elizabeth Chow. Belfield's solicitor confirmed he had signed a written confession to the kidnap, rape, assault and killing of university student Elizabeth Chow 19. Elizabeth was caught on CCTV walking home but disappeared from Uxbridge Road near Ealing Police Station. Lawyer Teresa Clark says Belfield 54 admits to bundling her in a van and detailing where she is buried. Now I always thought whoever committed these crimes lived in the area, was mobile in the area and was very brazen. We know a couple of years after these kidnappings, Millie Dowler was kidnapped off the street. Now the road Elizabeth Chow was last seen on is called the Uxbridge Road and the Uxbridge Road goes straight through Hanwell. In fact you could pick up a stone and throw it from where Elizabeth Chow was last seen to Hanwell. Essentially it's the same area. So you can see the boundary of Hanwell with the red lines and the white circle is where Elizabeth Chow was heading. West Straiten serial killer Levi Belfield had an infamous raping room in his Hanwell flat where young girls were given date rape drug GHB. So states a report on the killer seen by the Sunday Times and written by a former child sexual exploitation manager at Hillenden Council, Deb Debbie Weinstein. So we know that Levi Belfield has a track record of allegedly confessing to crimes then denying he confessed to crimes he done it with Millie Dowler he done it with the Chillinder murders so the fact that he confessed kind of means nothing to me because I wouldn't believe a word he said either way but the fact that he has a link to Hanwell which is close to the scene of the Ealing series means more to me because Levi Belfield loves to stay in the media. Wasn't it a, a month ago he was in the media about wanting to get married? So he, he likes to be in the media. But the geographical link or profile is very interesting. Alan, what do you think happened to these two young women? 
Well, Lola and Elizabeth have uh, disappeared in very close proximity to each other. Uh, this is either a complete uh, coincidence or um, they may have um, fallen victim to the same attacker or attackers. I believe that they've both been abducted and murdered and um, I believe that the attacker must have used a vehicle, a car or a van of some nature, uh, that they've either abducted uh, forcibly the girls, um, possibly by using some um, concealed weapon, or that they've either duped the girls to go with them in some way uh, by using some deception or perhaps um, because they knew them. So Levi Belfield apparently confessed to the Chillinder murders, but there's no way to prove it. But if he's now claiming that he killed Elizabeth Chow, it should just be as simple as him telling the police where he's hid the body. And if he's claiming that he killed Elizabeth Chow, why is he not claiming that he killed Lola Shankoya? Another thing that doesn't seem to fit is when Levi Belfield kidnapped and murdered Millie Dowler, her body was discovered within six months because it's hard to hide bodies. And anywhere Levi Belfield has access to, everyone else has access to, unless it's on private land and after 24 years I find it hard to believe that someone hasn't discovered Elizabeth Chow's body but at the same time there is a lot that fits in 2002 he kidnapped Millie Dowler in 2001 he attempted to kidnap another woman who got away does that mean in 2000 he kidnapped Lola Shankoya and in 1999 did he kidnap Elizabeth Chow or is this just Levi Belfield playing the media all over again?